In a stunning political development, former governor and current Senate candidate John Hickenlooper was held in contempt today. That after defying a subpoena to testify in his ethics hearing. Our political specialist Sean Boyd has been following this matter all along. And especially today, Sean, he did not have to show up in person, huh? It, Jim, he just had to get online. The hearing took place via a video conferencing website, like so many do these days. Hickenlooper felt it violated his due process not to appear in person, so he didn't appear at all. Less than a month before the Democratic Senate primary, he became the first person ever to be held in contempt by the state's Independent Ethics Commission. Your client is refusing to appear pursuant to our subpoena, is that correct? He is, he is not. He's not appearing. Um, he is pursuing an appeal. After learning Hickenlooper would be a no-show, the commission asked the attorney general's office to file a motion compelling him to testify. And when that didn't work, it unanimously found him in contempt. Former U.S. Attorney Bill Leone, one of the commissioners appointed by Hickenlooper. By failing to appear today, the respondent has imposed a tremendous amount of cost and inconvenience on the commission on the attorney general's office, on the courts, uh, on the witnesses, um, and um, all those who have an interest in this hearing. The hearing to determine whether the former governor violated the state's gift ban by accepting trips on private jets and failing to report them. His attorney argued they were gifts from friends or for official business. The trips in question were trips where the governor was engaged in an official state function in that out-of-state location. The attorney for the conservative group behind the complaint said not so. They were all bought and paid for by corporations. They all had potential conflicts of interest. They were all lavish expenditures that benefited Mr. Hickenlooper directly. If he's found guilty, Hickenlooper will be fined twice the value of each trip. He may also have to pay for this hearing as part of a range of sanctions that could include vacating his defense. And at the end of the hearing today, just before the commission voted to find Hickenlooper in contempt, his attorney said he could appear virtually June 16th. The chair of the commission said the subpoena was for today. The commission will issue sanctions tomorrow. Jim. All right. I'm sure you'll have that. Sean, thanks. For days, the only